everyone, it's Megan, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I have started cross-posting from eBay to Poshmark. If you guys haven't heard, Poshmark has updated their site and their app where you can now list from your computer, which is really great. It's something that I've been waiting for and looking forward to and hoping that they were going to add. I prefer personally to list from the computer. It's very quick and easy for me. Um, I do most of my listing from the computer on eBay and then I take my photos through the app. So I'm going to show you guys, uh, this is going to be a pretty quick video of just how I've been cross posting a couple of my items, mostly just certain brands. I'm not going to be cross posting every single item, mostly like Vince, Camuto, like Zara, Free People, Anthropology. Uh, maybe even some J. Crew I've heard has done really well on Poshmark. And just sticking to really good brands that I think would actually sell on this site. And I'm just cross posting just to have more views and a better chance for it to sell. I'm probably not gonna spend a lot of time on this site. I mean, I am gonna share my items uh, once during the day and once at night. But as far as like spending a lot of time on the platform and following other people and sharing a lot of items, I probably won't be doing that. Um, if I get extra sales, great, but if not, um, I'm just kind of testing the waters for right now. This is what I have so far in my store. I have about 20 items. I've only ever sold about 5 items in my store on Poshmark, so I am by no means a Poshmark expert. I definitely do prefer eBay but I am very open to trying to make more money and increase my income even if it's by a few hundred dollars and um, hopefully I can make an extra thousand dollars on Poshmark since I can now list a little bit easier. So I'm gonna go onto my eBay and go to my active listings. I'm gonna type in anthropology. There's some anthropology pieces that I wanna start cross posting. I am going to click on one and I am going to screenshot and if you don't know how to screenshot on a Mac it's command shift 3 so I'm gonna screenshot this because and then crop it later and I'll show you guys how I do that and then I'll go ahead and save the other photos to my desktop And I'm only worried about cropping and making sure the first photo is squared. Um, if the other photos on my listing get cropped, I'm not really worried about it. I'm just mostly concerned about the main photo and making sure that it fits the frame. I'm also going to copy part of my title. Go on to Poshmark. And in the very corner, it says sell on Poshmark. You're going to click that. And let me go ahead and crop that photo I was talking about. And this is mostly for a Mac, um, the things that I'm going to be doing, so I'm apologizing if you guys don't have a Mac. This is just how I know how to do it. So on a Mac, I'm going to crop this photo. And as you can see, it's already kind of in a square, so I'm just going to click this little suitcase, click crop. Now I have the square photo. That's going to be my main photo. I'm going to drag all my pictures down to the bottom so I can drag them onto Poshmark. See how it's perfectly a square? I click apply and then I'm going to add the other photos. And like I said, if these get cropped, I'm really not that worried about it on Poshmark. I feel like they get the idea of what the item is and looks like as long as the first photo looks great. I'm going to copy and paste my title. Alright, that's better. And I'm also going to copy and paste my description because I have measurements. Category is sweaters. 
and the size is medium or what was the size yeah it's a medium I always make sure I put no new tags since most of the items I sell are pre-owned anthropology I don't usually click on the colors pricing um, I don't usually look up every single original price um, I do know obviously anthropology is a lot more pricier so I'll go ahead and put about 89 and then do maybe a $45 price point and I do not expect to get exactly 45 I am gonna be pricing my items a little bit higher on Poshmark since they do take a higher percentage and I'm really happy that they do have best offer just like I have on eBay so people can offer me less if they want I'm gonna click next and for some reason on the new update you can't really see the post it's right here at the very bottom and I can barely click on it hopefully they will update that um, I'm sorry if some people it's so cut off so much that they won't be able to click post but I am barely able to click it it will post and that is all I do and it this is pretty quick once you get it down um, I'll go to my closet and show you guys the listing now it's there it really doesn't take that long maybe less than a minute if you really sat down and hustled through it I definitely think you could cross post at least maybe 15 to 20 in an hour depending on what items you would like to list on Poshmark since this is all very new to me this is the quickest way that I have found so far to start cross posting my items and it's working really great and I'm really happy with it if you guys want to follow me on Poshmark my Poshmark name is the same as my eBay store and my Instagram is just peachy94 I hope you guys enjoyed this really quick simple video on how to cross post and hopefully start making more money and expand your audience for your items to hopefully bring in more sales.